Hi Daisies, welcome back. This is our last video installment that you can watch. Uh, you should be wrapping up earning your Daisy Board Game Design Challenge Badge. So in this video, I am going to show you how all of the pieces and parts of my game work together. I'm going to adjust my camera angle here so you can see how the game works and see how gameplay would would go forth. So I've got my board game here that I designed with my character cards, my food cards, my spinner, my counter cube or my die, and all of my little game character pieces that move around the board. So now let's play. So the first thing is to fan out all of the character cards. And if we were playing this together, you would pick a character card and I would pick a character card. So let's pretend like we're playing together. So you can go first. Do you want this one? Sure. So you picked Julie Jr. All right, Daisy Girl Scout, so that means you get to play as the green piece for this game. And you'll put your green piece or your Julie Jr. on the start space. Now it'd be my turn to pick a character. I'll pick the one on the end. Perfect, that's Deisha Daisy in honor of our Daisy Girl Scouts earning this badge. That means I get to play with the blue piece. Now I'll move these other characters out of the way because we don't need them anymore. Okay, Daisy, I think it's fair to say you're probably younger than I am. So you would get to roll the counter cube first. So I'll roll for you. Oh, look at that, you landed on six. So you get to move your Julie Jr. six spaces around the world. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, to finish your turn, you spin the spinner and follow the command that it tells you. So I'll spin for you. All right, you landed on take one food card. So my Daisy friend, you would take the first food card on the top of the deck and you get couscous from Morocco. So now you get to hold on to that. Now it's my turn. I roll the counter cube and I landed on four. So now I get to move my Disha Daisy one, two, three, four spaces. Now it's my turn to spin our spinner and see what it says to do. Mine landed on switch spaces with any player. Well, my Daisy friend, you're the only player I'm playing with, so you and I would switch spaces. So that's how my game works. We would play all the way around to the finish line, and whoever collects the most food or eats their way around the world in 80 plates ends up winning. I hope you've had a good time learning how to design your own board game, engineering a spinner, and becoming a inventor of board games. Now, at the end of this video, stay tuned because some of our program aides, our Cadet Girl Scouts, went ahead and made some of the board games their own. This way, you can see what some other Girl Scouts are out there creating. It might just jog your creativity and make you want to create a whole nother board game. Thanks so much for joining us, Daisy Girl Scouts, and keep on engineering. Bye.